Many scenarios that you end up in someone's back. But coming out from the body is a little bit more difficult. Coming out from the top, when you take someone's back, like a, it's easy because you're on top. When I say, imagine I'm on his side, imagine I'm the side control, half guard, and you from the top, you take his back. But coming out from the bottom, you're already kind of climbing up. And the other person can use that against you. So for example, you can drag and take his back. I can cross his arm, so I want to take his back. Many ways to get to his back, but you're coming out from the bottom. So many times when you got this, you get to his back. You make to his back, but then if you the other person starts standing, if you the other person starts standing up, you know, if I just wait, he can just swing his arm and just put his back on the mat. So I feel like a, one of the best back defenses from someone coming out from the bottom to get your back, standing up. Like if you stay on the bottom, if you roll, you just bring you to the ground. You just bring yourself to the ground. So I have the habit to try to take the back. And I know it's hard when you come from the bottom to get on top. So who's on top wants to take advantage and just make much harder for you to take his back. So you on the bottom has to get used to like, it's not gonna be easy to take his back. I need to, kind, I need to keep climbing the ladder to take his back. So for example, if I get to one point, I make sure his back. He starts standing up. I need to keep standing up with him. I cannot just be like, a, oh, I'm taking his back. He's gonna wait for me. I can just put the hook. Soon he's gonna get the choke. No, you come from the bottom. If the person starts standing up, you need to just stand up with him. And not only that, after he's standing up, I can be on his back, but because he's on his feet, he can move much faster than if he was on the bottom. So after he's standing up, I cannot just be on, on his side. I cannot just be like a, like he's standing up. I just cannot be here, because he can easily set up his way out of there. So after you stand standing up, you want to get out the ground. But if you stay on the ground, he can just pick you up and put you underneath. So after standing up, you standing up with him, he's standing up, you need to jump on his back. You need to be on his back. You need to be behind him. You don't want to be kind of like, he try to reverse and then you get you on the ground. So I did the same thing. I control, I'm dragging, he starts standing up. I, you okay? Mm -hmm. I have to get on top. One more time. So I'm walking, I'm on the half guard. He starts standing up, I need to get on top. So the whole point is like, I need to anticipate that like, I'm going to his back, he's standing up. As he's standing up, I stand up. When you both stand up, I need to jump on his back. I cannot jump on his back straight from the bottom to the top, but once I get back on my feet, I need to jump on his back. So who's on top? Wait till the person start getting on your back. Wait till you start getting the seat belt. Let's just find like a mirror ring. And once you, once you get a seat belt, you stand it up. Once you stand it up, be ready. The person gonna jump on your back. So after you stand it up, just don't be like a, a relax because when he jump, you're both gonna fall. So stand on the bottom. You can start with the arm drag. Rock your leg. Make sure he's back. He's standing up. I'm not gonna wait till he pick me up. Sometimes the mistakes that people keep waiting till they pick them up and then they end up gonna like pin them back. So I can't wait till he pick me up. He's not gonna pick me up. I need to get myself way up with him, with him. Not before him, not after him, just like he's standing up, I'm coming with, with, with him. So I go here. Once I get on my feet, I have to make my way on top. I'm this way. And get on top. Let's try this makes the most smooth possible. When I say smooth, like, who is coming up? Ground, and get, get a good, like, ground feet. And who's on top? Try don't pause. Try just kind of keep coming up. Start with the seat belt. Let's just, like, not start with just the lapel or anything. Start with the seat belt. As he's standing up, keep the seat belt. And try and make the hooks if you can. But at least like, if you make it in his back, even if you don't have the hook, even if I don't have the hook and I'm on his back, I'm fine. I can, I can walk on my hook later. But first, let's get to his back. Let's go try again. I, I believe I, we got exactly what I want. 
we got exactly the, the situation that a lot of people was like a, has a lot of delay. Delay because like you cannot wait to the person like oh you made to his back, but you think he's just gonna let you stay on his back and he's not. So we have to just keep like a I feel like a just running, you know what I mean? Once it's done, I, I need to hurry up and like I need to go with him because if I wait for him, he's just gonna get too far ahead of me and he's gonna just figure out all, all his defense. So I, I, I didn't really want you guys folks how we're gonna make to his back, but you wanna make sure like once his back starts going up, we go with him, you know. And he's not gonna take it, you have to, you have to make, you have to keep climbing. So we came up, I made to his back. I kind of have a seat belt. I'm not on top of his back, but I'm, I'm coming up with him. And my hook was inside, my hook coming, start coming out. As we both come up, I, I, I get a moment. I, I, need, I need to move, you know. He's not gonna pick and put me on his back. So I need, I need to just kind of get a, get a moment. I need to, I get out of the ground with my feet on the ground because I need to make a jump and I need to make to his back. So we have to do this, one more time. It's supposed to be smooth, it's supposed to be like a, oh, you, you, you caught up with him and then you went like a, just at the same time. You made to his back. The second hook comes later. The first hook is the one that is close to you. So that, that hook comes smooth and the other one, if you have a long leg, if the person, if you make your way really on top, the second hook comes easier. If you make, if you, if you have an easy time getting there. If you, if you go a little bit delayed, you put one hook, you make his back, the other hook gets a little shorter. And that's okay too, we don't need the second hook, we need his back. Once you have his back, you can take your time to, to put the hooks later. Maybe you don't need the hooks, he make a mistake, you choke him before you put the, the hooks. But, as you make to his back, he coming up, he coming up because he wants to make it harder for you to make to his back. As he coming up, and then he realized, oh, he's on my back. He's, he, he chased me here. He's not gonna stay there, you know what I mean? He's, he, doesn't, he doesn't want to stay here, you know? As he coming up, he's on your back, he's gonna take you down again. He wants to kind of make you, oh, I, oh, he came with me, so let me try and make him fall, you know? So it's very common, like, a, I did the whole thing again. I'm, I'm gonna change that. After I jump, he just, he wants to, like, uh, make you drop again. So after you jump on his back, get used to because the person is going to try and make you get back to the ground. And as he comes up, he, he's just going to drop. He's going to drop, he's not going to slam you. He's not supposed to. It could happen, but he's not going to slam you. But he's going to make your weight kind of fall. He's just going to kind of like a, kind of chill. Jump on my back, please. He's just going to try kind of, kind of try to your weight down. If your head touches the floor, if something happens your head touches the floor, Probably never gonna make your way back again, probably. You know. If you hang too much and be hanging, like maybe he's just gonna pull you down again. So as he drop down, get back on your feet and just get get on top again. So let's try to do the whole thing. Let's go. And make sure his back is like, come on. And I make my way again. So after you get on his back, let's try to use the same time. Keep going up. After you get on his back. He's gonna drop you down, not fall. He's gonna just try to kind of shoot your way down, and then you get back on your feet. As you get back on your feet, you can wait. You gotta jump again, quick. And then we hope we can make the hooks after, and then this is gonna be a long-term situation, what's gonna happen after, but we have to make sure we don't lose his back. Who's on top, guys, gonna to have to get a little bit more like a, a strong base, because as you drop, you don't wanna roll and end up on the body too. Let's go try, guys.